It is almost Christmas time and football fans know what that means. It's a great festive period, but guess what folks? It also means that the January transfer window is around the corner and John Hartson is urging Celtic to do a double transfer Christmas special, right? That's what we'll call it, right? A Christmas special for big John Hartson as he wants them to sign Kieran Tierney and sell Luis Palma. Pipe bomb, drop of the mic. No, we're going to hear what he actually has to say. Then we'll get into what I actually have to say um, on the mar. But he was speaking on Go Radio, um, and this is what he said of Kieran Tierney. And I quote, love him. Absolutely love him. And I think if they can bring him back, that would be great. There'll be some conditions around that, contractual conditions, finances. I also think fitness, these types of things. But I think Kieran Tierney gets into most teams in the Premier League for me. He's a fantastic player when he's at it. And when he's on it, and when he's really, really fit, the years before he left Celtic, he was unbelievable playing in the Champions League, getting up and down that left-hand side, left-footed crosses defensively and going forward. He is a brilliant, brilliant player, but it would be under a few conditions, naturally, before Celtic make that move, if they are going to go down that route. End of quote. Right. I mean, you want to talk about having a great defence, man. I mean, I, 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 I mean, well, I rate Taylor, right? We say I like him, I don't like him, but I rate Taylor. I think he's a decent, I think he has a decent fullback, and I think he does get a lot of unfair criticism, right, from Celtic fans. But you replace him with Kieran Tierney, man, and it's like, you're, if you're going into Champions League games with, you know, Smichael at goalkeeper, Tierney, Carter Fickers, Trusty or Scales, and then Johnson on the right, I mean that's that's a defence that you, you it just uh, just the left side looks so much better, you know. And the the proof is in the pudding, folks. Greg Taylor can barely get a minute for Scotland. You know what I mean? He comes on the odd time, and the only reason he's come on the odd time recently is because Tierney's injured. You know, you, uh, but you know it's unfortunate for Greg Taylor because if he was if he was a right back, he probably would he would he would have started like the last year due to the injuries of Hickey and Patterson. But the reality is, he's no right back, and he's a left back, and he's just never going to take Andy Robertson at that team. Um, and when Andy Robertson retires, Kieran Tierney is going to be starting there. Hell, Tierney plays at left centre back, but to be honest, I think Scotland have played better with four at the back. But this isn't about Scotland, this is about Celtic. And yeah, you know, normally January transfer window, I mean, they're not, you don't normally associate them with great signings, but if you look over like the last, few years like there has been high profile Premier League signings you know Rangers well I say Premier League Rangers you know signed a guy from Juventus you know, 400 grand a week we don't mention his name Um, you know last year they got Fabio Silva so could Celtic be a bit you know even if it's not um, not even if it's not Kieran Tierney I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's loans to be had from the Premier League but Kieran Tierney would be a massive signing, but Ro- but a big Hartson, right? He didn't stop there. Because there's also another player he wanted rid of, and he was referring to Luis Palma. He says, he's not really featured much. You've got Dyson Maida on that left, and you've got Nicholas Kuhn and James Forrest on that other side. Forrest can shift over to the other side as well. If Palma goes, they'll certainly want to get another one in over that left-hand side. But it's looking like the writing is on the wall for Palma. I just think for Celtic now, it's in the papers every other day that he's not happy. His dad's been courting a move, this and that. I could feel in January that the right type of offer in for him, I think they would better act on that and let him go. I agree. Luis Palma, um, you know, he's been there. I mean, you look at Nicholas Kuhn, I mean, even Clement's fangirling over Nicholas Kuhn, man. Nicholas Kuhn came in last January and he kicked on this season. Luis Palma has been there since the start of the 23 24 season, you know, the start of last season. He's been here, what, 18 months, something like that. If it was going to come good, it was going to come good eventually. You know, you know, well, it should have. And it's weird because last season, you know, Luis Palma, he scored that offside Champions League goal. It was against Lazio. Can't remember who it was against. And I remember watching that game thinking, and that's the fucking difference. If we signed him, you know, we could be winning games of football. And then the goal got disallowed. And ever really since that moment, Luis Palma's ass has folded. So, it is a wee bit unfortunate for him. As for Celtic, though, getting Tierney in and getting rid of this guy, it would be a great January transfer window. But until next time, peace.